I'm Tina. I'm Ross. And today we have some chips and ale. We found these two bags of chips, patatas fritas, from Spain at Cospos World Market a few months ago. They, they've been out for a while and I think one of them's already sold out, but they look like interesting flavors. So we have this Plaza del Sol, Ali Ole, and it is garlic and vinegar flavor. And you have... I'm holding Kiyo white truffle, potato chips with uh, white truffle flavor, product of Spain. If you've watched, you know we like truffle, so looking forward to that. Yes. And we also have something new to us, Boddington's Pub Ale. So I believe a few viewers had mentioned Boddington's and we were in BevMo and I happened to see it there. So I thought, oh, we have to pick this up and give it a try. And so just for people who aren't familiar with Boddington's, on the back of the can, it says since 1778, when it was first brewed at the Strange Ways Brewery in Manchester, Boddington has been renowned as a unique pale gold ale. In English pubs, Boddington is served using the traditional hand-pulled method, which mixes air with the ale as it pours, producing a distinctive creamy head and smooth body with little gassiness. Ordinary packaged ale cannot match this quality, but the draft flow system does. So it's another one of those like we had in the Guinness where what they call there's a widget or something, which is supposed to help with that. And so it says it's supposed to give a creamy head and authentic fresh taste of Boddington Pub Ale. So looking forward to trying one of these again. I can hear it rattling around in the can. I want to take it out of the can. <laughs> I want to compare it to the other one. See how it looks? Yeah. So shall we go ahead and pour? Sure. And sample some of these chips. Woo! After you're, after you're playing with it. <laughs> I try not to move around too much. <laughs> Have your glass, no waiter. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm a little surprised. I thought it was going to have this big head on the beer, but not too much in there. So I don't know if this is kind of typical. What you get? I do see a lot of little bubbles. Put that up close so you can see. All right, are we ready? As ready as I'm ever gonna be. Cheers. Yeah, I like that. That one's nice. Established. 1778, as yeah. you said. Okay. Yeah. Refreshing. Yeah, I'm just a little surprised. I'm not sure how it's supposed to look after it's poured out. I kind of expected with that little widget. I seem to remember in the Guinness can, it was a lot more... Uh, foamy. Foamy. Yeah. So I don't know. You'll have to let us know if this is typical, if you've had one of these cans or not. Uh, I'm not saying I'm disappointed. I was kind of expecting a little. I was expecting a little more. Yeah. Yeah. Because it doesn't seem to have all that much uh, carbonation in it. Yeah. No, Is that no. the right word? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would agree. Uh, yeah. Anyway. yeah. Well, they're talking about a creamy head. I was expecting a little bit more. It tastes fine. It's, mm -hmm. it's... Yeah. It says millions of tiny bubbles. I guess it kind of did at first, but I was expecting. A bit more from that I see just a little bit now so yeah I'm not sure I'm sure some of our viewers have had this from a pub and you can let us know how this compares if we're not I'm assuming we're probably never gonna get quite get the same experience as having it on draft at a pub but we'll see and we did get a four pack so we'll have to see as we open up the others if it's kind of the same yeah. I was getting a little bit a little bit of bitterness in there Oh, yeah. Maybe it's just me, and, and we did have dinner a moment ago. <laughs> so maybe a little smoky taste. Hmm. Is it bitter or is it smoky? Let us know. 
Me too. You know what goes great with beer? Chips. Chips. Yeah, a little bitter, but not overly so. Yeah. I'm, I can I like definitely it. drink that down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like All right, taste. so which one do we want to start with? The truffles or the garlic and vinegar? I'm going to predict you won't want to save the best for last. I know you love truffle. So I'm assuming you want to go with the um, garlic and vinegar. Garlic and vinegar first, and then save the truffle for last. All right. Let's see if this is one that. No, it does not open. <clears throat> you know what to do that for you? inside there. Oh, smells wonderful. Actually, you're more of a vinegar fan than I am. Yeah, I think I am. But you do like garlic. I love garlic. <laughs> you might pass me the scissors, please. I feel like if I... You can't get your hand in there? My, my fat hand, I can't get my fat hand in. Uh, it's actually, it's, it's torn right here. In my oh, it. oh, yeah, I hate it when it does that, and then it tears down the whole side of the bag. Just awful. There you go. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, we were out shopping earlier today, Cost Plus World Market. We picked up some crisps, chips. Checker was going on about how she loves salt and vinegar. And just, oh yeah, I love how it makes me salivate. And, Can I just pay for my items, please? <laughs> See, I love the salt and vinegar too. Do you like to salivate? Do you like that I, whole? No, I thing? wouldn't say that's. I just like the flavor. <laughs> it's like a cross enough. Let's just eat it. We don't need. Hmm. Hmm. Good flavor. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't have a real strong vinegar flavor. Or garlic for that matter. Either flavor is really overpowering. Or Can you taste the garlic? I can taste the vinegar but not the garlic. Yeah, so it's, it's very, very subtle I think. I think it's in there a bit, but I, if somebody gave this to me and asked me to identify, I wouldn't. I don't think I would know it was garlic. I'm not tasting any garlic. I can taste a very light amount of vinegar, and I'm not wild about vinegar, vinegar and sea salt, vinegar, and what's the other one? The other popular one that's vinegar and yeah, you know, there's, there's a popular chip flavor, something in vinegar. Was it just sea salt and vinegar? Yeah, usually it's just salt and vinegar. Yeah, just not. <laughs> when it makes you pucker automatically, it's like, no, no thank you. But Yeah, some of the salt and vinegar chips that we have here made in the U.S. are really strong. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know we've tried some from the U.K., some crisps from the U.K. that are salt and vinegar, and you preferred those. They're a bit more subtle. I think I like some that. of them use malt vinegar, mm -hmm. which tastes a little nicer, I think. We have some. Then the American version, some instant puckering, inducing, super strong vinegar flavor. Uh, I, I think you like those more than I do. Yeah. So. I don't mind them. But yeah, I'm not tasting any garlic whatsoever. <laughs> not bad. You can see us inhaling a bag, watching TV with a bag of bees, <laughs> sitting down on the couch. Just not tasting the garlic. So if you saw these in a store, would you get them again? I'm not sure I would because I think these were $3.99 a bag, which is fairly expensive, which is typical for Cost Plus. Most things are imported, and so they're a little bit pricier. And I don't know how many ounces this is. 4.06 ounces, 115 grams. It's a decent sized bag, but and it's fairly full, but I don't know. I don't know if I love them enough to pay $3.99 again. It's I'll enjoy them, though. <laughs> You'll enjoy them. That's false advertising. Got a big garlic on the bag. Can't be tasted. <laughs> Are you trying to pull? What's your game? Cost plus. Or Plaza del Sol. Yeah. Can't really blame the good people at Cost Plus for that. 
So maybe these will be more flavorful. And I believe this brand, this Keto, is the same as the egg chips oh, that's that right. we had. I think they were in a black bag with the gold, but and um, yeah, the ones that taste a little bit rancid. Yeah. I think they had just gone off a little bit and um, yeah. yeah. So hopefully these are better. We will see. We both like truffle, so let's find out. And I feel like when we've had chips crisps, they when you have truffle flavor, sometimes it's really strong, almost a bit overpowering, and at other times it's subtle. So we'll see where these fall. I would say based on these, I would expect it to be subtle, but it is, even though they're both from Spain, they're two different brands. Although they both have gold bags. Gold uh, the interior. interior. And the outside is matted. Which usually implies, ooh, better quality. <laughs> I, Do you I, smell it? Oh, is it just me? Do these kind of have that rancid, oily smell? Oh. Too? Or is it just me? Maybe a little bit. Now you're making me nervous. They taste okay. Again, mm. very mild on the truffle flavor. Mm -hmm. I don't taste the rancid flavor, so thank goodness for that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was just my imagination. Yeah, that was a real, that's probably one of the more subtle truffle chips. Now, a lot of times uh, we have black truffle. These are white truffle. Yes. Which I have to admit, there's an Italian cheese that I absolutely love that has white truffles in it. My understanding is white truffles are some of the most expensive. Truffles are expensive anyway, but... White truffles, I believe, even more expensive than black truffles. Yeah. So, like you said, not the truffle flavoring is not overpowering. Uh, these are good. Mm -hmm. I think we mentioned before in previous videos that was, um, oh, Trader Joe's has some potato mm -hmm. chips that are truffle flavored, and they just go a little bit overboard with yeah. the truffle flavoring. It's like after a few of those, like, okay, no more. This is just too overpowering and. Those were a bit much. Yeah, burline sickening after a while. Whereas I felt like we got a few that we tried in our Universal Yums box, I believe from Italy, and those were really good. Mm -hmm. They were like just right. Yeah, I'd say the the flavor was maybe a little bit stronger. It was this. stronger than these, definitely, but not as strong as Trader Joe's. Yeah, I actually kind of like that balance. Mm -hmm. I think. Me too. And don't get me wrong, I I like Trader Joe's just fine. It's mm -hmm. just that one particular product they just go a little bit overboard on the seasoning. Yeah, I mean, Trader Joe's can be hit and miss. I mean, we have stuff there that we love and other stuff. Shepherd's Pie <laughs> was not, was a huge fail. Shepherd's but... Pie. <laughs> we mashed potato surprise. We won't bring that up. But... Yeah, just watch the video. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what chases these pretty well? Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I was just having the impression it would be a little more, um, let's say, carbonated. Me too. That's why I feel is lacking here, and I don't know if that's to be expected, just how this ale is. I feel like the more I'm drinking it, the more I'm liking it. Sometimes yeah. that happens. You have to get over that first initial taste, and it's like, oh, yeah, this is going down really easy. But, yeah, I expected uh, more of a, a creamy head, kind of like we were getting on the Guinness. Yes. Um, but maybe that's not how it's supposed to be. And as you mentioned, more carbonated. Because right now, I guess there's still some little bubbles, but not that much, so. Definitely not millions, as they were. Millions and millions, as they were. Yeah, so those of you that, that drink Boddington's, you'll have to let us know in the comments. Is this typical? You know, are we not getting the best experience here? You'll have to let us know. You're going to go back to the first one, because now we have to choose, do we have a favorite out of these? Switch. Switch. <laughs> I think of the two, I'm liking the truffle one better. Really? Mm-hmm. It has a bit more flavor. Hmm. Oh. That's 
one of these nights where I'm going to agree to disagree. Oh, so you like this one better, huh? And I'm not wild about vinegar. I, that chips. surprises me. Because I would not think that would be your go-to, even though you do love garlic. But yeah, but yeah it's so subtle. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, this almost... I don't know. I'm actually kind of liking that little tangy vinegar. You like the tangy vinegar. See, it's, it's growing on you. I think yeah. when it's not overwhelming, you do like the salt and vinegar. Yeah. yeah. But don't get me wrong. I also enjoy the uh, truffle flavor of those chips. Mm -hmm. but I like those. Yeah. I mean, I'll eat both. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> We have some bread. We could make a crisp buddy, chip buddy, crisp buddy. <laughs> oh, now see that one I just had? Mm -hmm. That had more seasoning on it. Was it maybe affected by your... No, that just happens sometimes. Like a lot of times I'll be eating chips and then you think, oh, that's that's not very flavorful. Then you get one, it's like, oh, there's a bunch of seasoning on that one. It gives you a whole different experience. That might have been... That one was better. Yeah, that might have been <clears throat> my experience too. Yeah. What I just had. It seemed like it had a little more tang to it the other thing i think we'll want to pull out maybe next time we open a boddington's twiglets twiglet yes <laughs> yeah those are good it seems like twiglets really are like the bar mite of the well that's yeah. what it has on it yeah yeah, yeah no <laughs> i know but it's like you you know you either love it or you hate it so. yeah it definitely has that flavor to it i remember when we first tried them we're like oh this tastes burnt <laughs> That was our initial, apparently that's a lot of people's initial reaction to it. Yeah. But um, the, it's one of those kind of like these, like the more you're drinking, the more you're eating, it's like, okay, this is growing on me. And then having it with a beer, that that is really good with the, the Twiglets, yeah. I think. And that's something we also see at Cost West World Market does carry Twiglets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we've been enjoying those. I mean, it's they're definitely nice to snack on with a beer. I think common or... It was a comment that said, yeah, they're supposed to taste that way. Yeah, yeah. Burn. Oh, and that was the other one. I remember the first bag, we liked them, and we got a second bag, and the second bag was even better. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's like, I don't know if it was a little bit fresher, the, the crunch in them was better. Like, they're a little bit, they're lighter and crunchier, I think, than the first ones we had, and, and they're like, oh, these are even better yet. <laughs> yeah, very well with the beer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There we go. Twiglets were an instant like, but yeah, the second bag I think we liked even more. Mm -hmm. And we have a fresh bag in there that we haven't opened, so I'm hoping that's going to be the same as that second bag, because that was my favorite. So let us know in the comments if you've had this Boddington's Pub Ale in this can or in a pub, or if you've had one of these chips crisps from Spain. Let us know down in the comments what you thought of them. We had both. <laughs> let us know what you think. So if you like food reactions and food tastings, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when we publish a new video. So until next time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.